You're listening to my WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article. Today's WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article is entitled, Cloward and Piven Will Begin on Election Night. Election Night. It almost seems surreal to imagine that we may not have a victor that evening, or even days, weeks, or months after. I'm convinced more than ever that the left has known for months that Biden won't defeat Trump, certainly not in a straight-up fair election. So for months they've been setting up the apparatus of chaos to be prepared to act when a winner cannot be determined on November 3rd. Check that. If Trump doesn't win decisively on election night, if it's close at all, I now believe that the left's minions in the mainstream media will, in lockstep, not just state that it's too close to call, but that Trump lost. Now one could ask, how is this possible? We see this every election cycle that for many hours various states can't be called for one candidate or the other. It's nothing new not to be able to call an election right away. Why on earth would the press risk their reputations this way? Well, to understand this, one merely has to recall rule number one of leftists. If one is a leftist, one thinks and acts as an unhinged leftist first and foremost, no matter what else one is, doctor, lawyer, journalist, whatever. It's a mental disorder, like Tourette's. They just won't be able to help themselves. Now combine hyper-leftism with Trump derangement syndrome and you get insanity. We've witnessed Trump derangement syndrome for long enough to know that if there is the slightest opportunity to declare Trump the loser, they won't hesitate to shout it out, giving no thought to what damage it may cause them. Their justification to themselves will be that any mess they make can be swept back under the rug once Trump is gone. And, of course, they're doing it for the good of the country. And the second this occurs, many conservatives, me included, believe that the leftist big tech, also in lockstep, will suspend all Trump's social media accounts, thereby preventing him from communicating directly to his base. Network, cable, and social media will effectively cut him off from his allies. Now all this sounds, well, insane. Like this is something that happens in movies in third world countries, not in the United States. However, as Michael Anton, a lecturer and research fellow at Hillsdale College's Washington, D.C. campus, a senior fellow at the Claremont Institute and a former national security official in the Trump administration recently wrote, All these scenarios, these potential outcomes have already been wargamed by the anti-Trump left and deep state right. Quote, 100 Democratic grandees, anti-Trump former Republicans, and other ruling class apparatchiks got together on George Soros's dime to game out various outcomes of the 2020 election, unquote. However, in my opinion, the key to leftist success at removing Trump will look more like the old Cloward and Piven strategy of overwhelming the system. On election night or shortly thereafter, all leftists from mainstream media to the aforementioned big tech to prominent social media influencers, politicians on both sides, past and present, leftist military commanders, past and present, academics, Hollywood, deep state operatives, social science and medical professionals will, with one voice, declare that Trump lost the election and must be removed from office. The cacophony of voices must be loud and constant enough that the lemming American electorate who, because of coronavirus, has been coincidentally conditioned to do what they're told, becomes convinced of it and accepts that the only fair thing to do, for the good of the nation, for our safety and security, is for Trump to step down. And if he doesn't, well, there's always civil war. And frankly, I'm saying that only half kidding. Thank you for listening.